My name is Georgia Nelson. Welcome and thank you for visiting my channel. Today's video is an opportunity for you to consider water with an expanded perception. You may have heard of the work of a Japanese scientist, Dr. Masaru Emoto. He was a pioneer in the study of water. His work demonstrated that water molecules are shaped by environmental thoughts, words, sounds, and emotions. Dr. Emoto studied the scientific evidence of how the molecular structure of water transforms when it is exposed to human intentions. His research focused on exposing water to loving, benevolent, and compassionate intentions, which created amazing physical molecular formations. Dr. Emoto froze the water samples to examine the frozen crystals under a microscope. He discovered water is very sensitive to vibrations. When water is exposed to fearful, angry, and inharmonious intentions, the molecular structure becomes misshapen and grotesque. He also experimented with polluted and toxic water. When this water was exposed to prayer, it was restored to beautifully formed geometric crystals. Here are some examples. This is love. This crystal is love and thanks or love and gratitude. On this sheet, here we have the love and gratitude crystal. This water was exposed to the intention in the words of, you disgust me. Here's some examples of distilled water that was labeled with the intention, this one is, let's do it. This water was labeled and exposed to do it. Here are examples of a dam, a polluted dam uh, in Japan. This is what the water looked like before. And after there was a Tibetan Buddhist chant over the water, this is what it became. Consider this. Humans are mostly made of water. If we transform the water within, what is possible? What messages do you send yourself? Do you have self-love, acceptance? When you look in a mirror, what messages are being sent internally? Love, peace, harmony? Look into your eyes and say out loud, I love you. I am special. I love and accept myself. Taping a note to your mirror affirming your worth. This can be a constant reminder valuing your authentic self. Write an affirmation or positive words on a piece of paper and put it in a pocket. Every time you touch the paper, it's a memorandum or a memo for internal communication. Place affirming phrases or words on your water bottle. It is a reminder, but also affecting the water molecules within. Experiment the next two weeks and pay attention. Are you experiencing more peace, love, and happiness? Do you feel less stress, more joy, lighter? What do you have to lose? or gain. Be loving and kind with yourself. And here once again is the crystal of love and gratitude with Dr. Emoto's words. Please share this video with family and friends. 
remember to click the like, subscribe, and bell buttons. My next video will be posted the week of January 29th. Thank you for watching, and be well.